name is Jim Smilek, and I'm from Erie, Pennsylvania. Right around 2010, I was diagnosed with emphysema, COPD, and sleep apnea. When I first found out that I needed oxygen, it was uh, really new to me. I didn't expect to uh, have all the shortcomings and uh, tribulations that I've experienced since then. A lot of patients and physicians now are starting to lean more towards the XPO2 as opposed to the old traditional cylinder style tanks. I was really determined to ride in the spring because that's, that's my passion. I really enjoy it and I have a lot of friends that ride. It's just a brotherhood, the feeling of freedom and uh, I was bound to determine to get out on the road. So I, I had to figure out a way that I could enjoy my bike plus maintain my lifestyle with oxygen. Where the XPO2, when they are ready to go, they simply just pack everything up and leave the house. They don't have to sit around and wait for anybody or make a special trip into the store to get replacements. I set my bike up with a concentrator. I drilled a hole, like a 7 8 hole in my trunk of my bike, put a grommet in there, then ran my hose out to the grommet and tied it to a grab bar on my bike with Velcro, and I bring it up to my nasal uh, face here, and I'm good to go. Um, somebody who depends on oxygen 24 hours a day, um, if you take this away from them, that's probably the scariest thing you know that can happen to them, not being able to breathe. I would tell a person that's going to be on oxygen or just got on to oxygen, that life can be a compromise, but with the right tools and right education, you, you can still have a fulfilling life.